Now in Windows 8, in order to play music or videos, you either have to go to the desktop application or go to either the music or the video application, Xbox Music or Xbox Video. Well, there's a new uh, application now that's a Kickstarter one. It's called uh, VLC. And rather than what we're doing here is going into these, here I'm browsing to get to our music and everything, uh, you actually go into a single application uh, that's almost there as far as uh, going ahead and uh, doing video and audio in the same application. So if we go over here to the Windows Store and we just type in uh, VLC, you'll see VLC for Windows 8 there. And you'll see that it's uh, made by Video Land. Uh, and it's simply, uh, you go take a look at this and you go ahead and install it. I've already clicked on that. It's installing the VLC for Windows 8, the usual. It's a free uh, installation, at least for now, during the beta phase. And it starts indexing. Now it's going to uh, sit there and try to index. Now it's got some of my videos already that I've created here. You can uh, take a look at it. Now it's indexing the music library, which I have a lot of music on this PC. So it's going to take a little bit of time to do that. Now it may hang for a while, but uh, I've skipped here to where it's uh, still doing some. But you can go in here and make your, do your settings. If you go here, you can add different folders on your computer to uh, browse those or automatically uh, put those in as far as scanning. And you can just select what you have here in your video folders to add them to your PC's uh, library for this application. Now, besides that, you can go in here and set up other things, permissions for uh, notification, which I'm not sure you want us to notify of new tracks or something. But in the meantime, uh, let's go back and check music, and you see my uh, albums have uh, come up here. Now, as of so far, it hasn't pulled any album covers like uh, Xbox Music is yet. I'm not sure if it does in this particular phase, but at least it's indexing my libraries off of my PC. So, but then you take a look here as you click in, you can say tracks, and there you can see each one of the tracks. For example, here's the uh, uh, different tra uh, different albums and the tracks name for that album. And you can play them, and you can add them to favorites and things like that. So if we click on uh, one of these, uh, there's the favorites button right there. So uh, we'll click on one of those. And if we click on the actual track, you'll see the information about the track. Again, it doesn't have uh, too much. Uh, information there as far as pictures and all that. It does have their popular, I'm just where they're going to make money is they're going to suggest things to you, uh, similar albums and similar artists to yours. And that's uh, probably where they're going to make their money at uh, by suggesting those. If you go buy those, they make money as well. Uh, it's a new model for most uh, software now, the free software. There's a way for them to make money. Now down here we see that there's a crystal alchemy. I didn't uh, record the uh, actual song, but it's playing in the background back here. So besides it was on your hard drive, uh, you can also plug in a device. That could be a, uh, remo any removable device, a USB. I have a, a hard drive with some music on, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. So once uh, it's plugged in and it, it detects it, it uh, starts to scan it and everything. And eventually it'll come up with a, a list of directories on that particular drive. So there it is. It found the uh, iDisk, the external drive, and and found uh, my files, and I have the same album on here, but uh, to, to, as an example, but it'll find external drives so you can index those as well. But now we're going to go over here, and here's the video folders. And you, again, we can do the custom, just like the music, we can do the video libraries custom. But uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look now because we don't have to go to a different application. And here's a lot of the recordings I did for. Uh, my my YouTube videos. And you know, it has MOV files. It has uh, GP files, 3GP from my uh, old Droid phone. It has MP4 files, so I can do all those together. So let's take a look here. Let's go ahead and click on an MOV file. And sure enough, within the player, uh, it uh, launches and plays. You can go back. Again, I have the sound turned off for this. Uh, there's another MOV. Uh, it came off my uh, Canon camera, as a matter of fact. Uh, so it reads that format uh, perfectly fine. So then we're going to go over here. We're going to try uh, a different one, one of my uh, MP4s. Now this has been generated off of my video software I use for publishing my videos, but it's an MP4 standard file. And you can see it also uh, plays that uh, exactly. Now there's some controls down here for uh, fast forward, for jumping forward, and fast forward, and decrease speed, and increase speed. Uh, you can do those kind of things within the video as well for navigational purposes. So the next one we're going to check here is we're going to run a video from the car uh, recording from off of an old Droid recording, which is a 3GP format, which is like an MP4 for uh, mobile. Uh, reads and plays that uh, perfectly fine as well. 
But it's good to note that it, it won't. You can only view videos or listen to music. There's no file management uh, information. You can't sit here and uh, right click on anything here to try and do anything. You can right click on the file, for example, to try and do that. You can click on the headings up here and get like zero, and you get a listing, just like you do on your people or on your phone, to expand the selections and everything. You can do that. It has a really uh, good search function. You can just click over here and type in the word here. Like we're going to look at the two apps thing over here. Say two apps, and then we can either just click on search, but you can also uh, uh, select a field to filter by. We can say any one of those and say videos, and then. After we do that, we simply can uh, expect to see that application or that video. There it is. That uh, video is showing up there. So there's something to keep an eye on. It's VLC for Windows 8. It's a beta version right now. It uh, depends upon when you're watching this. Uh, you have good controls to take a look at. Don't get any digital information about the artist, it looks like, uh, yet. Uh, but you can have favorites, do all that. You can browse videos or audio files. Um, a pretty nice little thing where you can make up your own little uh, navigation to find what you have on your your PC and uh, manage that effectively. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, featured video. And thanks for watching.